someone in this room could be a victim of something, or they might know someone that could be a victim of something and they might not even know it. Uh, that's something, what is that something you might be asking? Fraud. So I know from firsthand experience um, what it feels like to be a victim of fraud, and also I have past experience working in fraud. So I'm very knowledgeable when it comes to it. Um, it can be a bummer when like, you're just going about your day and then you have to look down on your phone and you see a bunch of charges that don't belong to you. It can be pretty alarming. So, I mean, there's no way of stopping fraud, but there are ways for you to be more knowledgeable about it. And uh, fraud is something that can affect you financially. It can affect you unknowingly and also tends to affect the elderly. Uh, for instance, by it affecting you financially, um, if some of you aren't regularly, regularly cha uh, checking your statements or um, constantly um, looking through your, your statements and whatnot, uh, there could be charges on your account that you wouldn't be aware of. And so if you're not aware and you just let it go by, be held responsible and that would suck. Um, typically, uh, a fraudster will go for a low amount, like a dollar, so you might just put it off and uh, you might not think it's a big deal, it's a dollar, I, I, you know, I, might, I must have spent it somewhere. Well, that dollar can sometimes lead to like a thousand dollar charge later on, which would not be nice whether it hits your debit or your credit card. And so that's something you have to be very aware of when it comes to your financials. Um, you, you have to constantly be uh, looking at them. And ways to prevent this, you can actually set up alerts on your phone or um, sometimes there's fraud detection as far as they'll reach out to you when they think something is suspicious has gone through your account. If you've ever gone to a place and you've been declined, most likely it's fraud protection um, from your bank or something. Um, fraud can also affect you unknowingly. By unknowingly, I mean uh, there's a lot of identity theft out there. Uh, and if you don't safeguard your personal information, then it can uh, affect you in the long run as far as like affecting your credit or affecting you when you go and try and purchase a house, a car, things, things of that nature. Um, someone can take your personal information and uh, actually open up credit cards in their name or using your name, but um, of course making purchases for themselves. Uh, a lot of people don't uh, notice it and so it can really uh, mess them up. Uh, a lot of identity um, thieves are online, uh, they, they randomly enter either like, for instance, if they're searching for a card number, they'll have these randomizers in which they are constantly generating 16 digit account numbers, seeing if they come across a, a credit card, a valid working credit card, and at that point, um, that's when it can hit you. Um, fraud can also tends to affect the elderly, uh, which is a bummer, because a lot of older people aren't very aware of their surroundings, and so a lot of people look to take advantage of that. Um, people, the, they can be affected through people in their family. Um, people in their family can uh, be using either the elderly, um, their older relatives, as far as like the grandma, grandpa, as well as um, and a lot of people like to tend to call older people and, and ask, ask them for personal information or tend to pose as fa other family members, things like that of that nature. So a lot of old people out there getting suckered into providing their personal information and um, it's not good. So, I mean, in, overall, there, like I said, when it comes to fraud, you just have to be aware. 
uh, be aware that it can affect you financially, it can affect you unknowingly, and it can affect those around you. Um, there's no way of stopping fraud again, but the more knowledgeable you are about it, the more you can do to put yourself in a better position to, being, to preventing yourself from being a victim.